everybody, I'm your man Dennis Pitzerberger here, PRI in one of the best booths to be in. It is Driven Racing Oil with my man David Chamberlain. And though most might know it, this man took me to school, school on what kind of oil I needed to put in my race car. It's time to take everybody else to school, don't you think? I think so. So today we're talking about GP1 again. And uh, this is what I talked with Dennis about uh, a little while back at SEMA. And uh, he wasn't aware that there was kind of a difference there in synthetic blends versus conventionals. And, and in that marketplace, he kind of just thought, hey, if any conventional is the same as the next conventional race oil and any synthetic blend is the same as the next synthetic blend or semi-synthetic. And, and we kind of had to, we had to talk about it a little bit. They're not all alike. All right, David, we can joke about how I've gone to school when it comes to lubricants, but I think the audience needs to know how important this full story is. Take me back to the beginning of what resurrected really the grassroots of this product for you. Yeah, so for us, we've always done the high-end full synthetics. We've done some other niche products like the DI for direct fuel injection. We've done the hot rod oils, but they've always been really niche -y. We've never had that multi-purpose grassroots race oil. So what we did is we partnered up with the refinery that actually actually refines the Pennsylvania base grade base oil from Pennsylvania grade crude. And what we found out through our testing at first, if you would ask this 18 months ago, hey, what do you guys what do you guys think about Pennsylvania grade products or Pennsylvania grade performance oils? We would say, well, that's you know legacy hangover from the Penn's oil Quaker State, the Kendall GT1 days when everybody and their grandfather were running that, right? And then we tested it. And what we did was we literally took an R&D blend that we were working on and we just simply swapped out the base oil with the Pennsylvania grade base oil and it cut the wear in half. At first we thought, all right, we messed something up with the test. Let's go back and check it. There was some variable we didn't account for, but then we came back, repeated the test, oil analysis, before and after camshaft measurement, it all correlated. So it's pretty amazing. We all heard of bench racers and that people you know, sit there and compare application to application, engine to engine, car to car. But getting on the track is the real world. And for us, engine testing is real testing. And a lot of, lot of lubricants out there, a lot of oil manufacturers out there, they kind of simply rely on bench testing, but we're a little different. We do durability testing in an engine, and we, I mean, we, we check and correlate the results based off of before and after wear results and oil analysis. And so, for us, you could look at the Pennsylvania base and you could go, oh, this doesn't make sense. What makes it so special? It's a, it's a conventional oil, but then you think about it and there's a reason why in the history of lubricants that you know, Pennsylvania grade oil was the lubricant of choice back in the day. And that's what we found out through our testing and you get it in an engine and the proof is in the pudding. Well, speaking of that, what is the application window for this oil? What's the right customer for this oil? So grassroots racer, or the guy that he doesn't quite know if he's got a street car or a race car, you know, small block Chevy, big block Chevy, something vintage, even, you know, European vintage, some of your Porsche air cool stuff, uh, any, you know, imports even. We've got a 520 of viscosity in this in this GP1 lineup. And so it's, it's really anybody that's a grassroots racer where they see that 1499 quart oil that's like our XP6, or XP9, and that's not quite them and they're looking for something a little bit more affordable, and that's where the GP1 comes into play. What's been the response from the customers that have been using the oil now that it's on the shelf? Oh, it's phenomenal. I mean, we've been shipping it since August, and uh, everybody's been really excited about it from, from street guys to race guys. I mean, a lot of dirt track guys are running it, so your grassroots hobby stock, uh, some of your, your lower level modified guys. I mean, there's guys running it even in sprint cars. I mean, with the testing we had to do, um, we had a lot of the sprint car guys down in Australia actually running this stuff to do some track testing with us. I think people want to know, what is that unique thing that makes it different? So here's where I wanted to get into a little bit. So conventional wisdom, everybody knows conventional. It's kind of a three tier deal, conventional mineral base together in one group. And then there's semi-synthetic, synthetic blend, partial synthetic, you know, it's all the same there. And everybody thinks of it as all the same. And then there's full synthetic. And, and people kind of think of it in that tier level, but all conventionals are not the same. And the Pennsylvania grade base oil is not the same as, you know, some other group two base oils that come out of the Gulf, for instance. 
And so what gives it its unique property is its affinity to ferrous metals. And that affinity comes from its, its just the right balance of, of polarity and that helps it work in synergy with the zinc and the high moly additive package that's in the GP1. So it's, it's really unique, it's a unique additive package. It's that same additive package we've developed over the years, winning races with Gibbs, and now we've kind of brought it to the grassroots racer. Well, David, you know what? I, I appreciate coming to events like PRI because I get a chance to talk to guys like you that do sort of bring you to, to school to understand there is so many differences. The reason why you can get superior performance in a lubricant and you can get it right here at Driven Racing Oils. If people want more information, how to get their hands on everything from your Highline synthetics all the way to the brand new GP1, how do they do it? So check out DrivenRacingOil.com and also, like I've said in the past, our YouTube channel is a great technical resource that you can check out. There you go, DrivenRacingOils.com. It is the Performance Racing Industry Show, Indianapolis, Indiana.